All right, we go again. Hello, hello, what's up? Hello, how's it going, boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time we have Mommy Galleon. <laughs> yep, Galleon is finally out. The next as the next grand character. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. Okay, so without uh, getting very distracted on on Galleon's wonderful design. <laughs> yeah, let's just dive right in, right? Right in there. I mean, what? <clears throat> Never mind. <coughs> uh Max 2000 HP, 6500 attack. She is uh, unknown, yes. Balanced and she's a stick character. Hmm. All right. Terla terrestrial pulse. Earth damage, massive earth damage to a for three turn cut to Galen skill cooldowns. Wow. Blast kiss, man. Mm -mm. Landslide's blessing effect to another earth ally. When landslide's blessing effect is already granted, restore HP, remove all debuffs. That sounds broken as fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's a grand character. He's meant to be broken anyway, right? So she's basically the stronger version of her uh, Christmas chicken. Then. Earth attack booster, defense booster, double attack booster, debuff resistance booster, deals bonus earth damage for normal attacks. Hmm. Interesting. So you can actually recast this on the same character and get HP restore. And you clear all debuffs. Hmm. Huh, okay. Okay. Bed Bedrock Rain. Six hit plane damage to random foes based on foes' current HP. Remove a buff from all foes. Delay effect. Activates every four turns when the ghost foundation is in effect. Oh, okay. The third skill. The goals foundation. So just press once and things happens. Kind of very, it kind of feels very similar as how tower works too. Tower is like three turns, but she's like four turns. Damn. Okay. Looks fucking crazy strong, maybe? Sharp boost to attack and defense specs. Activate bait rock rain every four turns. Can attack on turn after attacking. Huh. Oh. Oh. I think what this means. No, what this means is that she, when you press this, she can auto once, right? The, 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 how this works is that she can auto once. After she autos, the falling turn, she cannot attack. And then after that, the falling turn, she can attack again. So it's like. Every turn, every two turns only she can attack. So it's like turn one she can attack, turn two don't, uh, no attack, turn three attack, and then so on and so forth. So something like that. I mean, forever fucking... <laughs> she has permanent uh, assassin, right? <laughs> Mother Earth's love, man. God damn. Mm. <laughs> ah, the love. She doesn't love me, though. They didn't, ro didn't get her. At the end of turn, to earth allies who didn't attack. Sharp boost to attack one hit. 20% boost to charge bar. Wow, this is fucking insane for V2, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, this is insane for V2. Like, you can literally get free assassin on any character by just guarding. Limitless goal. Upon activating Fated Chain, restore Earth Allies HP. Two turn cut to debuff durations. I mean, it seems really strong, but... It looks like... It can be really good for Diaspora, but at the same time, it's like... Not really? Hmm. But I think it should be okay. This one is really good for Diaspora, though. The, 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 the multiple, the, the XX turn cut to debuff duration is very, very strong in Diaspora. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, before I dive into that, let's look at the numbers. The heal 
is ten thousand. <laughs> the heal is ten thousand. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because it's like ten turns. But yeah, but ten turns though. Minus three though. Ten thousand. <laughs> 10,000 heals, man, and you can clear all as well. I mean, you, you're literally cutting 3 turns per Ogi, man. Okay, then uh, Bread, Rock, Rain. This is her bread and butter, right? Her B and B. So, the plane damage is 666666. What's that times 6? <laughs> How much is that? Because it's fixed, right? 6,666 times 6. 3... 4 million, okay, 4 million. It's 3.9 something something something. So we just round it up to 4 million. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna round it up to 4 million. It's not 4 million, but we're just gonna round it up to 4 million to make things easier, okay? Okay. So you get that every 4 turns. You do that amount of damage every 4 turns. And you can delay and... Dispel every four turns. Yeah. And this is an eight turn cooldown. With the Ogi like this, you're probably gonna get that probably after two Ogis. In other words, because she only attacks once every two turns, right? Actually, it looks very possible, actually. Like, because this is 8 turns, right? And same goes for this, right? This is 10 turns. Um, you could possibly already cast this in like... Recast this after... Like in, let's say you cast this in turn 1, right? You cast all of this in turn 1. It looks like it's actually quite possible to make it like around... Either... 4 turns or 6 turns. Yeah. Probably 4 turns, actually. Four turns in, like when you start, start in the fight itself. But you have to use Kango though, because you have to remember that um, she is actually not getting a lot of meter because she's not attacking for every turn, and she doesn't look like she has a lot of meat. Hmm. Does she get this? It kind of sounds like she does, does it? But then again, this is just referring to other Earth allies, though. Should I think it does look like she does get it, eh? Alright, what else? Okay, so for this, Gold's Foundation. Gold's Foundation grants the following effects. 100% attack, perpetuity modifier, 300% defense up, 100% damage cap. <laughs> Debuff immunity, guaranteed triple attacks, auto-activate Braid Rock every 4 turns. Hundred percent cap though, holy shit. <laughs> Hundred percent cap though. Mm -hmm. That is insane, dude. Why can't I get her though, motherfucker? I think I'm gonna burn my summer right now. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, wait. No. No, 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 no. Alright, uh, so this one though. So this one is... Uh, wait. She shouldn't be able to cast cast on herself, right? Because it's another Earth ally, right? 50% Earth attack up. Wow. Fifth. Wait, what? 50%? We don't usually see that number. What the fuck? 100% <laughs> defense. Guaranteed double attack. Immune to debuffs. This is 100% debuff resistance, so it's immune to debuffs. And then you get 20% echo. Galen cannot grant on- Oh, okay. So she cannot do it on herself. Yeah, but- Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Whenever you activate Fatal Chain, you get 5,000 heals. What? <laughs> 5,000?! Do 
dude, you can spam that every two turns. <laughs> dude, did, did you? I mean, you you see that fucking super bar Monica shit, right? You can ogi full ogi every like that, right? You can almost get fucking fatal chain almost every two to three turns, man. Bruh. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. I mean, yeah, you can't really do that with her because she's not really oging all the time. So she doesn't really essentially uh, get that. You know what I mean? So that's why. But damn, though. See, th this is why I don't really want to see her, her numbers because I know it's going to be so fucking stupid. <laughs> Right before Guild War 2. Uh, so cringe. Uh, dude, it's not over yet, by the way. We haven't looked at her fucking... Her, her weapon yet. I mean, I kinda did already. Because I already kinda know what's gonna happen. Dude, her, her what? Tell dear her weapon changes the whole fucking meta, okay? So... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I mean... Okay, you know what? Let, let's just look at her fucking thing first. Let's look at her EMP first, okay? Flashbang. Okay, so her EMP, she has four. Not one, not two, not three, but four HP nodes. Holy shit. <laughs> one crit, one stamina, one earth attack, one ogi, two attacks, and two defense. I mean, I guess you could just give her a lot of HP, eh? I mean, I don't see why you want to, because she already has 300 defense anyway. But yeah, I guess the important one is this tree. Ogi damage can be okay as well, but I don't think you really need it. Because she has so much anyway, doesn't really matter. The rest, I think, just put defense and HP. Yeah, because that's like what? You have basically 9 more points to spare. Because this is, you're only really using this tree, right? I guess you could put a bit on this one if you want. But you can just spare the rest on just defense and HP. She doesn't really have a lot of attack, uh, what's that, stats? Like raw stats. But I'm pretty sure that's fine because you get relatively a good amount of uh, attack stats based on just rings and awakening anyway. Which should technically get her up to like 10,000 plus. Because I feel like as long as your character has like 10,000 plus-ish raw attack numbers, should be fine. <laughs> if not, just give her the attack awakening thing. So, I guess, yeah, I guess you could do that. Because she, she already has guaranteed fucking triple attack anyway. <laughs> You do not need the the, the, the multi-attack one. You do not need the bad you don't really need the balance one because you have so much HP nodes here anyway. And then defense node, there's no point either. So you could potentially just go with just attack uh attack awakening. And then you get all the H like some HP defense and call it a day. Yeah. Because you're I mean technically she doesn't really need defense just because she the moment you press her S3, she already has 300% defense. <coughs> so, there's really no reason for you to do that. So just pump her more HP, right? Right? She's she's technically giving her all, giving us all the love, right? Because all the hearts from the HP. You know, that's cringe, right? Moving on. Let's deep dive into this shit, okay? Ah, a stick. MC can attack next turn, unworldly. Alright, so this is the new one. Amber Resonator. When three or more of the same weapon are equipped, boost to Earth Allies attack, defense, and damage cap. And then at 150, you get small boost to Earth attack and max HP. Alright, I'm gonna bring up a tweet, a picture here, because uh, there was a very, very, very good picture that shows her numbers. So this is the numbers if you equip 3 of her weapons only. The amount of defense you get is 75%. <laughs> and then this thing is maxed out at 20% and then you get 43% attack, 43% HP. Yeah, so it's 
pretty insane. 43% HP attack and you get 75 freaking defense. Yeah, I saw this earlier and it's fucking nuts. It's, it's fucking nuts. That's why this is like... This is literally meta shift. It's a big huge meta shift for Earth now. So... Technically, you could go with her weapon. Three of them. <laughs> and then you use whatever shit else. And you just get rid of Kame altogether. Because the meta shift is essentially just getting rid of Kame now. Because we all know that was going to happen, right? Let's be honest. We knew this was going to happen. Because I am very certain side games wanted that as well. Because the meta for Earth has always been like Kame stuff. Kame related things. And he's been around for way too long. So, it makes sense. But the problem is whenever this happens, that it always pisses people off. Because this is a gacha game. <laughs> if this was not a gacha game, people would probably not be so mad about it. But yeah, this because this is a gacha game, it means that we have to roll for her and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this this is the the, the the amount we get for just equipping three of her weapons, okay? Like the rest of the grid is empty kind of thing. This is three of her weapons together. So technically, we just only need three of her weapons, essentially. We could just fit in whatever random shit in the end. But if not, you could just fit in like the usual, the usual one, you know? Like, okay, let's... Let's theory craft a little bit, I guess. Um, what's my normal earth shit? Um, Alright, sure, my Kango, I guess. So, my normal earth Kango stuff, you could technically remove this. It's either you use one of this now. You could remove that. You could probably still stick with this. You probably might not need that. You can just keep one of this and then Seraphic or Ultima and some other shit. So, it's like... You see this this three slots here? You could technically put three here of the one of the wep the said weapon. So it's either you go with uh with Galleon's weapon or you go with something else. You could potentially do that. You could actually do that. So it's like you put three weapons here, you could also get rid of this tree and just put another three weapons here. And then you have like one slot for uh Astral and one slot for Opus and then you're good. And then you have an actual main hand. Or you could just use something else for main hand of course. Yeah, so that's entirely up to you. You could potentially do that. But I'm not entirely sure how the numbers is going to look like. Because I'm not a whaler. Unfortunately. But... I mean on paper it sounds like it's going to be... Relatively worthwhile. So it's like you either run this or this really. I mean, technically speaking, you could run this as well. Do you really need double attack when you get guaranteed double attack anyway? Right? Isn't it? As in, you just use the the primal slash magna version or something. You could potentially actually use this. Because you're getting permanent dub guaranteed double attack from... What's her name? Galleon anyway, right? If you're, if you're using her. If you're using her to buff... Your characters right you are guaranteed to double attack so this is kind of whatever so if you think about it you could potentially use this or just use like the old setup for magna you because i mean her weapon works with magna too right so you could actually just use her shit for magna too i'm not sure how is that gonna work though but it does look like it's possible you could just go back to the yeah, like the old style with three axes. Uh, you could just slot one of her weapon in there if you do not have a lot of. Like you go three axes and three katanas or something for example. Right? And then you just use uh, Ultima main hand for example. Ultima uh, main hand and then you use Opus. Done. Maybe you don't really need Astro or some shit. But yeah I mean you could play around with that shit. It seems possible. And you still do a lot of damage. Like, yeah. You could probably still do a lot of damage with Magna. And you get a lot of defense as well. 
just because that thing is like global anyway like it's not tied towards to a single mod like need like either magna or primal right so it's a pretty damn fucking good uh weapon for obvious reasons yep ah uh, mm. <laughs> but yeah that's how her weapon is it's it's a big big change for earth now like for both magna and primal I'm not entirely sure how people really put her weapon for I mean use make use of her weapon for burst or OTK though. I think for OTK you can still kinda do it though. You're just, just using her weapons. Yeah, just slot in her weapons, I think. Or just use uh I think it, I guess you could just use uh Kane's katana or just use Ichigo or something. Just use one of this and just use Ichigo and call it a day for OTK stuff. Or you could just use uh, Gilgamesh spears or something. I mean, the, the I feel like the, uh, the 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 amount of options is somewhat endless right now because there's so many things you can actually just try. But unfortunately, I'm not aware that I can really do that, so it's quite hard. Yeah, it's quite hard to do it. Yeah, you could run you could run Galleon Gun as well. You could run three Galleon Guns technically. Because you should be able to stack at least two to three of them. Like the amount of supplemental you get out of the gun, you should be able to get multiple of it at least. Because it's kinda like similar as like you know the other dragon weapons. Like technically two is good, but because you know we are always sticking with one just because of uh came, right? So now now we are we are back to needing multiple weapons of the same weapon, multiple of them, rather than oh we only need one now. So based on uh, based on this, the grids for Earth is no longer the cheapest anymore. Because <laughs> technically Earth go transitioning into Primal used to be very very cheap because of came. But because now the weapon, this weapon is released, technically it's not cheap anymore. <laughs> yep, it's not cheap anymore, unfortunately. Oh boy. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, it's gonna be expensive, alright. It's going to be expensive for sure. You know, speaking of which, let me check. Do I even have multiple of that shit anyway? Just in case if I can, if I want to try running any of that. How many Ichigos do I have? None. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have one extra AK. Yep, I'm fucked. <laughs> Do I have any in here? Man, it even doesn't even look like we even try that shit. Cause I don't even have the fucking weapons anyway. God, that sucks. <laughs> Oh man, that sucks, dude. Wait, did I seriously not get a single dupe of Ichigo until now? Because I was very certain I barred that fucking sword. I mean, katana. I got zero until now. Wow. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> man, oh man. Damn, this is fucking rough, man. But don't get me wrong, though. You technically still can... You can technically still use came stuff. It's not like it's not like came setup automatically just be hot garbage. No, I don't think so. Came setup is definitely still one of those things that you can still use, but maybe in specific scenario it might not be as good. I would say, you know? Because you know like for example like uh you you get so much out of uh, a weapon, right? 
for the uh, the attack and the defense and the damage cap because you get up to 20% cap right for her damage cap because this damage cap I think is shared it should be shared across like the other similar weapons that provides damage cap as well it should be it should be shared so there's like so basically the main reason you really equip her weapon in the first place is the fact that you get a lot of hp right a lot of hp because this thing and a lot of raw attack because of this and this and then you get extra a lot of defense as well so that's why so it's like it's not like came is came setups automatically just gets deleted from the face of the earth no I, I highly doubt it. You can still use it today and still like even like right for Guild War, right? You can still use fucking Kame. It's not like it's fucking hot garbage. Because Kame still provides a lot anyway. Like his his uh his literal uh what's that freaking passive is so strong. Like this fucking uh, thing is so strong. Like just having him in your 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 party and just slotting in one singular weapon you know like the highlander shit right it's still so strong anyway it's not as much as as the galleon setup obviously you know this one is only 20 percent and then you get 50 percent defense and then uh what's that how much is that 10 percent cap right yeah but it's still freaking amazing though like it's not outright this oh it's trash nah man you can still use that. It's just that right now, probably only the, the ones that can really fully utilize Galleon stuff is obviously the Whalers. Because this is one of those times where it can be relatively rough in in GBF just because, you know, it's a gacha game and all that, right? But just because GBF has been that type of game where they are very generous. They give us a lot of like free rolls and all that other stuff along the way. As time goes on kind of thing in like special occasions and shit right i'm very certain we can eventually get that you can probably save if you really really want to go into earth you can eventually just save up your sparks and spark for her like whenever it's necessary you don't really have to roll this uh this specific one if you do not have enough rolls just yet so it's it's not like that because you have to remember like when it, like gbf is one of those games right where you want to take your time to progress. You, it's not like it's one of those things where you want to immediately just get there, like boom, just get there. That 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 is all Wayless territory. Because end of the day, this is still a gacha game, like I said, right? You just get there, take your time to get there. It's not like it's just gonna be oh, it's trash. No, you can still use back your old shit in main just. Put it this way, right? Like the uh, the jump between this to, I mean, from Highlander came to the Galleon's weapon, right? It's probably just like maybe this is where this is where the the bar is for Highlander came. Probably for Galleon, it's probably just slightly up here, and then for like the 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 other older setups is probably slightly like off the screen kind of thing, you know? It's it's better. But the, the amount of investment that you need to go for to finish this shit is really fucking high. So if you're not... How do I say? If you're not really fully uh, wanting to invest into Earth, there is no reason for you to rush this shit. No. There is no reason for you to. There is like zero reason for you to do this whatsoever like just put it this way like usually how i tend to do this shit is very very simple i just have a objective like what i want to go for usually i tend to rely on guild war to for me to decide which element i want to go for i pick that specific day to spark a really like say perfect example is uh, upcoming summer i'll spark then but I'll just hope the fact that I can, you know, like shit some some summer characters, or whatever, and then I spark the said target that I had 
maybe like few months ago kind of thing. So like for this example, if I'm sparking next month or something, maybe I'll just spark a galleon for example, and then I'll get some hopefully copium and get some summer characters along the way. That's usually how I tend to try and do things. If I get lucky, I get lucky. If I don't get lucky, fuck it, right? Because this is this is how it is. It's a gacha game, right? So there's really not much you can really do about it. <clears throat> but yeah, so a lot of times I always say this. If you want to go somewhere like trying to push towards a specific element and you do not, you can't decide which one you want to go, you should always just, the easiest solution is to just follow Guild War because you really want to at least do something in Guild War because of how stupidly important that thing is. We all hate it, but there's nothing we can do about it. We have to do it, right? If you want to get some fucking uh, spark funds and all the uh, progression you need for your jutans and whatnot, right? You have to do it. We hate it, but we still do it because we have no choice. <laughs> yes. So, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to put this together because usually I like kind of separate this for the uh, the whole should you spark video thing because I'm probably not going to do that simply because I don't think this is actually a really good uh idea to spark like right now when summer is literally either end of the month or early next month the new summer characters the whole chunk of summer characters are literally re releasing very very soon as much as we all want galleon mummy to appear in our freaking inventory or in our grand cipher whichever you want to put it right you have to remember she's there every single month it's okay if you cannot get it it's okay you just have to be a little bit patient and i can assure you a lot of times because this is a gacha game and especially this is how gbf tends to be it's okay to be a little bit late it's okay <laughs> i do not understand why some of you really love to the point that I so happen to have 150 gold moons. Let me go and get that character real quick just because I want it right now. <laughs> Why burn 150 gold moons when you see a, the said character every single fucking month? <laughs> Unless you're a freaking ass season, or then probably I can kind of understand that, but I really don't understand why you want to do that. It's such a. Huge waste, man. It's 150 gold moons, man. You can use 150 gold moons to progress to make your grid so much stronger. Because that is at least 7 bars. <laughs> you can max out maybe... Uh, what's that? 2 to 3 weapons. Depending on how many dupes you have. So, there's really no reason for you to go so hard in that shit. Please. <laughs> I'm just giving you a very, very friendly suggestion. Just, you need to be a little bit more patient. Like, not wanting to roll here and there. I, I know some people have some, like, some crazy urge like, Oh my god, new new banner must press. You know? You, you, you gotta, like, you know, have that... That patience, man. You gotta hold back a little bit. Yeah, I did 100 rolls already, but I can afford it. I can still fucking spark. I'm still ready for uh, a fucking spark anyway, so who cares? <laughs> I'm just doing it because I can. But if you do not have, like, you're, like, close to zero rolls and you still want to roll, I don't think I can help you with that, right? Especially if when summer is literally coming and usually every year, summer tends to have one, one slash two, maybe three very, very strong characters. So you, if you really want to roll for Galleon, just wait for next month or something, right? Because uh, maybe during then you have the said new summer character already out and then you can get Galleon. And plus, not to mention, right? Not to mention, since we are doing this all together in one video, there is no read up! <laughs> Why do you want to wait burn right now? There's no point. If there's maybe like Golden Knight or some other shit that got read up or something, then yeah, maybe I can kind of see some like some extra incentive there, right? But there's no read up though. It's not. It's just the new characters. That's all. It, it feels 
like such a massive bait. And I can tell you this bait is just for whales because probably side games need the extra money because Relink is ass right now. Look look at what happened to Relink, right? Relink is already pushed over to fucking 2023. They need the extra cash, man. They need the cash to fund that fucking damn thing. <laughs> like, how, how else are they going to feed their employees needing to work on that stupid ass game for God knows how many, six more, six, eight more months or some shit. Right? See? It's all part of their plan, man. Fuck. <laughs> like shit, boy. So yeah, it's like... It, it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. I'm with you. I don't have the character yet. It's fine. <laughs> as much as I want her to... I have to hold back. Because I, I have to get... The, the more important one is to get the summer shit. Because the summer only appears twice a year. You know? It's okay. I'm with you. I'm not... I'm not like those... I'm, you have to remember that. There are some times I can do like massive luck shitting like last December. Yes, I can luck shit like that. But I don't get that every fucking time, okay? <laughs> I'm just... It, it's RNG, right? It ha Sometimes it happens even for you probably, right? It happens for you. Sometimes it, does, it, hap it doesn't happen. Because it's RNG. It's gacha. You have to take things... Very, very, uh, you know, at a nice, decent pace. You don't just go, boom, you know, just fucking ram that shit in, right? You don't do that, man. You gotta calm the fuck down. You gotta take a little step back, breathe, you know? <laughs> I know you want to face plant your head into her titties or something, but still, goddamn. <laughs> I mean, I want to, but I, I would too, but shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I think um, I think I, I have already mentioned way too much for this character. But yeah, end of the day, TLDR, she's great. Okay, she's great. She's very strong. She works basically everywhere, minus uh, minus OTK and burst. I guess you probably only use her in uh, really hard raids and semi full auto because you kind of need to at least press this because this is uh this is manual right you cannot use this in full auto but the, at least full auto can always use this too so if you don't really care about this set buffs right you can technically use her in full auto just fine you just need to press this and then yeah this will automatically be pressed anyway so yeah it's pretty it's pretty okay in full auto but from what I can see, she looks like she just shines really, really well in V2 for one. And boss, really hard boss fights. Which you can technically use in Diaspora in a way, yeah. But, um... If you think about it, she's probably a slightly better character to use in a Kango setup. If you just get rid of Satyr. Technically, but... I would still kind of prefer Satyr in a way just because she can outright just clear in like two like she reduces the turn and helps you reduce four turns and then if you do get feared in that fight you get like because you get six turns right the fear lasts for six turns or the petrifier lasts for six turns right so it's not like you can get this up that quickly so there's, you can only get one character immune anyway, so you have two other characters that is probably getting that fear, so I would still probably think Satyr is better in that regard. Maybe if you're using like Robin Hood shit, because usually these days for in Diaspora, for anyone's wondering, the setup is really, the go-to setup is just Kango and Robin Hood anyway. Unless you're a massive Giga Chat, you can go uh, Kukuru and Viking and stuff, right? You could do that, yeah. But you could potentially just use her in the usual normal setup as well and still do relatively good. So, yeah, she's really good in endgame raids and full auto and semi-auto shit, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, I guess that's probably mostly about it. I think I... Not sure how long is this going to be. It's probably relatively long, but yeah. 
thanks for watching. I'll see you guys whenever I decided to put a new video. <laughs> or I'll see you in Guild War or something, yeah. Alright.